So no doubt you've just seen all the videos from the top YouTubers on drone making, um, saying that DJI's brought out a huge update for the Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3, and huge update for the Mini 4 Pro for definite. Uh, and there's some exciting things on there. We've got the Vision Assist. Uh, we've got the goggles, which is um, what I've got anyway. Uh, I'm going to be look, looking so much forward to hooking that up with the uh, my new drone. Um, we've got the thing that I'm really excited about is this Active Track Auto. They said it's a bit like Master Shots. Um, so the drone will be doing it all for you around you. So I can see me bringing out a few videos on that. Um, the other thing is, is you can turn off the downward vision thing. Now this will be really helpful when I'm using my hand controller and bringing that drone down really low. Um, yeah, but I think to me, what I'm really excited about is the Active Track 360 Auto. I'm really looking forward to trying that out. But anyway, don't forget guys, if you've got the goggles, these will have to be updated separately as well. They need the updates first before you can actually connect the drone up. Um, and you know what a nightmare it's going to be. But no doubt, <laughs> there'll be videos on that as well. Um, I'm just in the process of uploading my firmware at the moment. It said it takes about 10 minutes. I think it all depends on the internet as well. But um, I'm halfway through it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring out this video today uh, on the launch of it. Um, I'm not going to do a test flight today because it's going to get on a bit this afternoon. Hopefully in the next day or so I'll go out and test fly the drone. What I definitely will be checking out is that Active Track uh, Auto. That really excites me a lot. So a great present from uh, DJI for Christmas. And guys, if you haven't got the Mini 4 Pro, you need to get it, guys. Get it on your Christmas list. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to enjoy this drone so much. Okay, looks like another thing I've just noticed on the update, especially on the DJI RC2. One of the biggest pains, I think, was the, obviously, if you're doing a screenshot, or a screen save, I should say, um, it sounds like, at long last, you can actually get it onto your, just looking at the, um, <laughs> the spill at the moment, it says, you can actually put it onto your SD card that you put into the controller, like you can on the uh, Mini 3 Pro. Um, so that means that when you do a screen save now, you should be able to go for it. And it says on there, all you got to do is you go into your profile, set in storage, and then set it up for your SD card instead of let it go on to your internal card, which has always been a bit of a pain. So that's something else I'm really looking forward to testing out as well. So big things are happening, aren't they? I suppose one of the other things that people might be a little bit concerned about doesn't really affect me. I mean, I'm, I'm in Spain, I'm an ESSA, so no doubt it's possible that they might have already rectified the height restriction. I'm already restricted to the 400 foot mark, but that's no big deal to me. Um, that'd be interesting to find out you guys in the UK, if you got, if, if they ordered that on this new update. I have seen nothing from the big boys it, they haven't mentioned anything like that. They didn't even mention that about the RC2. I've, I've seen, I think I've seen five videos so far, and they haven't mentioned anything about the, that you can put your uh, screen save straight back onto your internal, external or SD card, as you say. So be interesting to see. Uh, and while I've been chatting to you, of 60, nearly 70% now. So it's, Going on course, there's a lot of stuff. I can't believe how much stuff they're giving us on this new firmware update. But at the moment, it's all looking good. My drone's turned off. That's all right. So going for the right process. Okay, so what we do, we go into, um, I think one of the first things, we just go down to, right, so return at home attitude, yeah. Right, so my maximum altitude has definitely not changed and I've definitely not even given it anything extra. So I wasn't expecting it to, but 
You never know, eh? <laughs> so, let's go control. Still got the Imperial, which is good. We follow. It's always worth checking these guys, just in case. Uh, camera. I'll just keep in mind the JPEG for the moment. Okay. Resolution. 48 megapixel. I haven't got that, but I'm quite happy with 12 meg for the moment. Um, format. That's good. That stuff in there has changed. So let's check the about. Right, so what has changed is the app is updated to the 112.4, which is good. This is the new aircraft firmware update, which is the 01000300. And I'll just, we'll just check that as well. Okay, that's been done. Check for updates on that one. That's all up to date as well, which is good. Okay, we come out of that. I'll go into profile. Right. Okay. And if I go to settings. Storage. Okay. Right. Switch storage. Okay. So we do that as well. So that's something else I'll check later on as well to see if that's been transferred over. Okay, so that's on to my SD card now, which is good. Okay, what we'll do now, I'm just going to check the batteries and see if they need updating. So let me turn off my drone. Battery. I've got my thing for my goggles, which I won't do today because I need to update those separately. Okay. Right, so this is to do with the battery. Okay, so that that's those that battery update. I've got one more battery update. So I'll just change it over. Okay, so update that battery as well. Okay, so obviously the other thing you've got to make sure, guys, if you've got extra batteries, just make sure you update those batteries as well. Like I said before, I'm going to update my goggles and my controller as well before I go out testing that. But all looking good. It took a long, lot longer for me to do the 10 minutes, but hey-ho, that's the thing you got to do. Um, I will go and test fly the drone in the next couple of days. But I'll let you know if there's any problems with that. But as far as I can see, everything's gone well. My drone's still updating with the battery there. Um, guys, if you've got any questions, add it below. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can on that. But anyway, as always, guys, safe flying.